All right, guys, I'm gonna show you a little trick that I like to do, uh, especially early in the year. But then again, you know, sometimes if, I, if the fish are on a brim bite, bite I, I like to add some uh, a deep orange. And JJ makes a great uh, methylate color. And, and the best way to show you is on this, this white net bait, little spanky here, it's trash color actually. And uh, this is the methylate that, that you can buy straight from JJ already colored up and it's got probably more of a, a pink a highlight a fluorescent look to it and that works great at times um, but I have a little custom color that I've come up with I'm going to show you how to do it right here all right so JJ's makes chartreuse the one I probably use the most out of all of them it also makes a really deep dark red I'm going to show you what the red looks like I'm just going to die this will die right over the top of that one that I dipped in methylate earlier. So here's the red by itself. And you can see it's a really deep red. And uh, a lot of times I like to use that uh, for obvious, obviously like this net bait uh, pocket chunk. If uh, the crawfish, like fish are spitting up crawfish and I see some deep red in them, then I'll, I'll put the, the deep red on there just like that. You can see how the contrast that you get from that really deep red. But probably my favorite color to do is, is a deep orange, and I kind of customize it. And the way I do that is I get back to my to my white bait here. Like I said, I've got the deep red, and I've got chartreuse. I'll take a bottle of chartreuse. And basically, I'm just going to start putting the deep red in there until I get the right orange that I want. And I'm going to test that by dipping a white bait first because I, I can see it more clearly that way. I've got a medicine dropper here. So I'm going to start going from the red to the chartreuse and I'll keep testing it until I get exact shade of orange that I want. I'm just going to take a little bit up just like that. And I'm going to go right into the bottle of chartreuse. Now this chartreuse bottle has been used before so it's a, there's enough room that I can put some in there. And it doesn't take much red to get you to an orange. It's not a one to one mix, uh, probably not even a two to one. So now I'll take this white bait and dip it in here and test it after I put the red in and just kind of see what, what shade of orange I've got here. see that's still pretty yellow there's the uh, thylake there's where I'm at right now just tiniest shade of orange so I'm gonna need a lot more red all right so I put another pretty good dropper full of, of red in there top back on mix it up starting to look a little darker now. I'll just take that same bait that I dipped earlier and kind of see where I'm at. There it is. That's the, from the last time I dipped it. See, it's still really yellow. Let's see how much it's changing now. Okay, now we're headed the right direction. There's a good deep orange right there. I'd be inclined just to keep it in that range right there. That's a really nice orange when I go to put that on a green, like this pocket chunk, a lot of times crawfish have orange tips on their claws. That's where this came from. And, and bluegill have a lot of orange on their, their underbellies, along with some of the chartreuse. See, it's hard to tell on the green. That's why I use the white, is to tell that I've got, the, got it right. But we'll look at it in the water, and you'll be able to see much more clearly how that little bit of orange flash comes out. And for me, it makes a difference. I do it on a lot of different plastics. Usually it's on a green pumpkin or a, a watermelon candy or a green pumpkin candy. Some kind of green plastic is where I'll put that orange on there. And I really like to do that early in the year when they're really dialed in on crawfish. And then a little bit later they'll get on the bluegill. So that's how I make a deep orange. Mix a little bit of red with a little bit of chartreuse get a deep orange.